Welcome back once again, guys. We're here at Computex Day 3 in Taiwan. We're here right now at Lee and Lee's booth. We're joined by Miss Mackey. And uh, Miss Mackey, can you show us around your booth here in Computex? Okay. Um, here we have the Odyssey X, the newest chassis. So actually, these two are the same chassis, but with different mode. We have the uh, Perfo uh, dynamic mode and the performance mode. So the dynamic mode is more like uh, once you, you really want for uh, gamers or uh, modders, uh, influencers, really like to show off their PC chassis, and you can use this mode to show off your PC components. And we have the performance mode. This is more like uh, uh, for more spacious because you can put the 80 uh, millimeters thick radiator on the top. Yeah, yeah, very thick on the top. Yeah, so that's why we call it performance mode. Yeah, and it's really easy to uh, you know just uh, change to the different mode. Once like you did bottom bottom part, uh -huh. you just flip to the straight one. And this part will become right here. And the other thing you need to do is just uh, quickly uh, switch the, the direction of the motorboat tray. So right here is like this, and you just flip it over, put it right here, and then it became dynamic mode. Uh, so this motherboard tray can be turned around? Yeah, yeah, removable, yeah. So defend, uh, depending on your configuration, whatever you want, yeah. you can adjust the motherboard too. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, so let's go to the next okay. one. So this is the newest uh, O11 Dynamic XR Arc uh, Rock 35, the bigger size of the Dynamic. So the depth is bigger, the the, uh, the height and the width is are much more bigger than the Dynamic version. You can see this um, that white one is Dynamic. And this is the XL. The XL of that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say the the amazing part is that we have different modes right here. Let me just flip around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. So we have two USB right here. We have two USB right here and the down down right here too. And we have different modes. The last one will switch to the uh, motherboard mode, so you won't you won't get the color, and you can switch the color right here as well. Yeah. And this motherboard tray actually can fit. Sorry. It fits the biggest motherboard, so your motherboard won't hang around. Yeah, you do, and, then and you, yeah, you can you do the cable a, management uh, right here. It's really neat and clean. And I know some of uh, people wants to assemble the PC. Usually, need, you, uh, in the button part, you have to flip the PC over. But this one, you don't have to. You just take it out. This one, and put your fans right here, and then you put it back. I believe it's sir. And yeah, and you will easily powder. Okay, and also this part you can put a uh, 360 radiator. Or yeah, yeah. If you don't want to put a radiator, you can put a SSD or HDD right here, and they are all swappable. Yeah. So uh, this, this this bracket can also fit a 360 radiator. Uh, this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's like a 360. Yeah. Yeah. And we have the Lenko 2 right here. So this is RGB. I forgot to say that one, the MSRP is $199. $199. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, when yeah. can we expect that in the market? Like, uh, end of the July. End of July, so yeah. around two months. Okay. So uh, this is the Lenko 2, the RGB mode. And I will quickly show you the Size. So if you want your radiator to get, get more, where is it? I think it's not. Me? Hold on. Okay. So it's got more space. If you want to, you know, more space. Yeah, for the for your I don't know your cooling, water cooling, and it has more space right here. Yeah, so you can just flip the radiator very easily. And the magnet is really strong for the class. Yeah. We have a screw. Okay. 
also the cable management and for this part it's easy to open as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the PSU, three PSU. Yeah. 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 yeah, and this one can you can move as well. And then you mainly would. got more airflow come to here if your fans right here. So. Okay. So this is our new AIO. We call it Galahad 240. So we have the black version and the silver version. And so this one's magnetic as well. Very strong, very bad. You can customize. And we have the very cool, uh, excuse me, we have the Unifan, Kansai Unifan. This is a uh, brand new uh, stuff because I, I don't think you can see it on the market right now. Not yet. So, not yet, yeah, but soon now. <laughs> so, it actually, uh, the, the concept is really sim simple. Just you connect the three fans together, but you only use one cable. One cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's and. Like like a Lego. Yeah, it's like a Lego. We we wanted to call it Lego fan, but we just decided to call it uh, Uni fan right now. Yeah, and easily to disassemble. Or you wanted to use it individually? That's cool. Just make sure you put the wire right here, and easily to assemble as well. Right, but you see, it's just still. Oops. Okay, it's not really stable right now, but you know, just the concept. The concept is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the prototype. For a cleaner build. Yeah. So how about the Galahad? Can when can we? AIO. Uh, expect it, it should be out like around Q Q4. Q4 this yeah. year. This year, yeah, this year. Uh, do we have any idea about the MSRP? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Still calculating. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Yes, this one, the ITX. Yeah, mini ITX. Yeah. So I can show you the. Sorry. Right there. The up is really uh, the, the handle is um, finalized and with aluminum material. And it's due to. You can. Look. It's not really heavy. It's not heavy, It's uh, it feels. The handle feels durable enough, and basically the concept is for portability, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to yeah. go to LAN parties, you want to yeah. go somewhere, you want to yeah. bring your PC, and this is probably the case for you. Yeah. So can you show us more? So uh, actually you can mount like 120 radiator right here in the front and the back, and it fits the high-end GPU as well, but the uh, power supplier goes right here, and you can go with the cable management. And I would say the, the top is really nice, because I need your help. The cables go right on the top. No one can see. Uh, so this uh, PSU is this yes. small yes. form factor? A uh, small? Yeah, small. We can you can't fit the, the ATX one, the standard? Uh, yeah, the small one. This, one. this is the sample build. The sample build, yeah. Top is amazing. The MSRP is one uh, one oh nine right now, and this will go out first, like end of July. This will go first, and then the Dynamic XL will go the next. Then that will be Odyssey X. So this is the this is the first one that we can expect in the market by the end of July, and MSRP is around one hundred and nine dollars. So I think that's a pretty reasonable price. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This is a more refined version of DK04. Mm -hmm. Now we call it DK04F. So the amazing part is the glass. You turn blur. It's wow. like, how it's like a frosting. Yeah, the frosting glass. And 
sometimes you, you know, if you need this desk for your work, sometimes you have to concentrate on your work and then you don't want to see your in internal in uh, system because system is too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't yeah. want any distraction? Yeah, you don't want to be distracted. Yeah. So the refined part would be the touch panels, uh, would be the fan. This is for the fan speed. Yeah, fan speed controller. Let me put on yeah, the RGB on in a different mode. And this setting right here? Uh, this this for the height. Height adjustment? Yeah, height adjustment. So you can you have four modes you can customize the yeah four levels of the setting. four levels of the setting, yes. Yeah. And the maximum height is that's right. I know that one is one hundred and seventeen. I, I believe this one is the same. Yeah, one hundred and seventeen. If you want a game while standing up. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are get, getting tired of sitting all day, you can just stand up for some stretch. <laughs> yeah. This will probably come out like uh, the end of the year, the Q4. Q4. Yeah, Q4, yeah. And the uh, yes. MSRP is not yet? Not yet? Yeah, you know. Because <laughs> this glass is a little bit hard to, you know, produce. So we're um, discussing uh, with the company. Is this tempered glass? Yeah. Okay, that's it for Lee and Lee, guys. We're here at Computex 2019 in Taiwan. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us for more coverage of Computex here in Taiwan.